So you guys want to do a leap down test on your Speed 6? Or any car for that matter? I did a leap down test on this. When I applied the pressure and set this into the set portion of the gauge, I was getting way into the moderate on every cylinder. 50 to 60 percent. Um, and I bought this from Harbor Freight. And you, you know what you do with this, guys, if you want to do a leak down test? You throw it away. Don't even buy it. I bought this guy used for 100 bucks. It's a Matco leak down tester. The Harbor Freight one goes about 15 pounds inlet, which is not enough. And let's see what we came up with when before with the Harbor Freight we had about, what was it, 40-50% leak down, almost 60 on some. Let's set our gauge, see if I could do this one handed. And that's what I get. at about 10% or so on the gauge. Doesn't matter, it's within, it's under 20. Now I'm gonna do all the other three, which I'm assuming they're gonna be the same. But yeah, save yourself money, buy a good one. And the way I do this, is I have this spanner wrench that I bought for something, I think a Chrysler power steering pump. I use it on the our steering pump pulley like this to turn the motor. Now it is in neutral and all the spark plugs are out. I also take this big screwdriver, we'll do the cylinder next, and as I turn it, you see the screwdriver starting to rise. Well, how do we know if we're on the exhaust or the intake? Well, you stick your hose in there. And you should feel air or compression coming out of the hose as you turn it. Which I don't. It means we're on the exhaust stroke. Pop this guy back out. Put the screwdriver back in. is going down she's gonna come back up on the compression stroke and I'll show you if you can hear what all this noise outside put our cable put our hose back in coming out is the compression being built up. And that was just to show you guys. Now we want to bring it to top dead center. Just till it comes up. Right there. Now I'm not going to hold this. I'm going to throw the car in sixth gear because if we put air in here it'll move the engine. Alright. Put our hose back down in there. down tester. Make sure it's set. Looks good. It's, it's about the same as the other one. You could hear a little bit of air in the crankcase, but that's normal. That's a that's a big difference between moderate thinking the engine's no good or worn out with the cheap harbor freight thing. That's why sometimes you gotta spend the money. Till I get some compression. Right there. See how you can hear that? Pull that out, bring it to top dead center. Right there. Put our hose back in, we'll throw it in six gear. 
keep the engine from spinning. Alright, let's check this guy. Still set. Oops. It's about the same. Even better. Back out of gear. At least you can see you can do this yourself. You don't need a buddy to hold the wrench. Compression stroke. The way I used to do this on small block Chevys is you could just stuff a rag in the spark plug hole and just crank it over and it'll pop it out. Makes a nice pop sound. Can't do that so much with this one. All right, let's put it back on. Still set. Tad bit more than the others. Very happy with that. Do you know what this means?